Did 343 just confirm that they're going to be at the Xbox Live event with Halo Infinite information? Well, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving their news and informational video when it comes to Halo. If you like these kind of videos, make sure to tap that like button. It really helps out the channel. It helps out the algorithms. So more people get a chance to stay in the know with everything going on with Halo. Now before we get into anything, I want to say thank you to all the new subscribers that have come from Eckhart's Ladders channel. That was an awesome experience to be able to be on that channel guys. Uh, it seems like we might do some more collabs with him in the future as well if any big infinite news comes out guys. We gained like 400 subs in a single day. Absolutely insane. So thank you to everyone who hopped over from Eckhart's Ladders channel over to here. So I hope you guys enjoy the content. Before we get into anything, quick shout out. I actually recently did a video over at Sean W's channel guys. Another Halo news information guy. If you want to check him out, definitely good content over there. We did a kind of a dual commentary thing talking about uh, the recent Halo Infinite news and stuff like that. And just going into Halo in general, link in the description down below. So you want to know one thing that's been missing for quite some time when it comes to Halo guys? Well, the Master Chief Collection category on Twitch. If you guys don't know, I've been out of the loop. It's actually been gone for the last like couple weeks. And so it's been leaving a lot of streamers kind of out in the open going like, okay what's happening with mcc now tashi from 343 did reach out to twitch emailing them say hey we view this as our own game you should have a category for this because twitch recently did like a cleansing of all the categories of game categories that are not necessarily games per se but just more collections kind of like think of like the orange box from valve not necessarily a game but it's a collection so they cleared out a bunch of that stuff they saw similarities with mcc so they cleared it out obviously 343 views the mcc as its own standalone game and guys it's back the mcc category is back on twitch which is awesome to see great for the halo twitch community because we're already a small tight-knit community as is and we're already divided between halo 5 and mcc you can't divide us up even more between each halo game so i'm glad to see mcc is back guys i will be streaming on that channel quite often as well so link in the description down below for that if you want to follow for twitch and now the halo news i'm sure you guys are really here for and that is the halo infinite news so let's start off with the actual news here and then we'll talk about the surrounding stuff that's not necessarily confirmed but uh, definitely should tie in with what has recently been happening. So Unishek, the community manager of 343, recently just tweeted out this pretty awesome meme saying, when you get to Ashram's speech while playing campaign. Now, yes, it's a simple, harmless little tweet, but I think this kind of implies more than what it's actually saying. First of all, Unishek has never really tweeted out anything about playing Inf Halo Infinite, like ever. And this kind of happens just like, a week and a half before the Xbox event, which we do know the MCC will be showcased at this Xbox launch event because uh, the MCC will be getting a nice upgrade of like 4K resolution at 120 FPS, which is fantastic, and 120 FPS at 1080p for the Series S. So we do know Halo is going to be at this event, and there actually have been some leaked rumors going around about Halo Infinite being there and some additional content. So recently on October 15th, a Twitter handle of Game Leaks Rumors tweeted out this saying, Rumor Halo Infinite should be shown November 9th with new improved gameplay open beta to happen in March or April. And talking about how in this uh, update, we'll get an updated version of the demo with probably new visuals as well and better functionality behind the whole thing as well. So that's gonna be great to see. And so like right here, Unicheck mentions about playing the campaign demo and seeing exactly what they're kind of talking about in this leaked information that it just kind of makes it seem like they're kind of doing maybe doing like a quality assurance kind of run to make sure that like, you know, he's playing it on their end to make sure it all looks great and stuff like that. So, I mean, again, all this is kind of leaked information, but it just seems to make sense that Halo Infinite would be shown at this Xbox launch event. I mean, even on the box itself, we've seen all a bunch of these Xbox Series X reveals on the box itself as Halo Infinite. So I would be very surprised to not get any Halo Infinite information. Now it does say November 9th, but the 9th and 10th dates have been kind of mixed around a little bit because internationally they're doing like a Xbox launch event internationally for the 9th and then there's gonna be a US based one on the 10th. And mainly with these leaks guys you kind of have to look at more just like the general idea of what's going to be shown here not exact details. So the, I think the main idea is that we're going to see Halo Infinite at this event and I pretty much would believe that. I'd be very surprised since they've been essentially radio silent 
since the announcement of the delay. Yes, we've gotten a blog update about the coding system, but we didn't really get that much in the way of details, just letting us know that it's a thing. And we recently just found out the challenge system is coming back in Halo Infinite, and we had to find that one out from a Butterfingers candy promotion. So one thing I definitely would expect to have happen with this November reveal, we'd have to have some form of multiplayer showing up as well, as we've seen nothing when it comes to the game and this game was supposed to be done this game should have been done like now actually by the time of uploading this video so not only will i expect to see some form of campaign gameplay which unishek tweeted out saying he's been playing as well the multiplayer information and i think we're gonna get some because there actually has been also another leak again take us at not for word for word but kind of a general idea uh, they did mention about how there was going to be like a battlefield style kind of game mode like 45 versus 45 UNSC versus Banished, which I think would be absolutely insane and completely awesome to have. Again, this is leaked information, but having a Battlefield style game mode in Halo Infinite would be absolutely insane and would be that console or game seller kind of game mode you would want to have for your game, which we have not had any kind of reveal of yet so far. Uh, if they go full Battlefield with like class-based systems, that could totally work as there's plenty of different enemy types you can add in for the Banished as they are essentially like the Covenant with a coalition of various alien species that you can stylize however you like to fit the gameplay properly. And same thing with the UNSC, there are multiple different types of friendlies you can add if to your uh, arsenal as well. So it'd be awesome to have that class-based system which I think could totally work for Halo and it'd be pretty freaking awesome. They do also mention in this league about a battle royale possibly coming to Halo Infinite as well after the reveal, probably later 2021, which would make sense and be the way I would like to see battle royale implemented as well. Releasing that battle royale after the initial release of Halo Infinite would be the best way to go about doing it because it can be rather polarizing, especially within the Halo community. There's a, about a 50 50 split about people who want it and people who really don't want it in the game as well. So it really helped the ease off the development stress of releasing the game with a battle royale and just do it later and i think also get a nice end of the year bump in popularity though again this is leaked information not actual information again you can't necessarily confirm this but you know every halo game has had a big multiplayer mode to try to sell copies right halo reach had invasion halo 4 kind of had the spar out the game mode and then halo 5 had warzone what does halo infinite have well we don't know, and we probably will know come in November. Apologies if I dived a little bit too much into the deep end here, guys, but you know, we were trying to dig up as much information as you can for this video to try to build like a little bit of a narrative of how this tweet from Unishack does mean a lot more than just, you know, a tweet. And trust me, guys, if you see any more information coming about Halo Infinite, you guarantee we'll be talking about it on this channel. So make sure you subscribe to the channel, guys. If you miss any content from me, check out the videos on the screen or over here. I got a link to all my news and information videos if you've been out of the loop for the last few days or so. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out.